Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys. Look what I just got in the mail. Basically, I reached out a couple weeks ago. I was like, hey, hey, Feastable, like, you wanna send me some chocolate? I'll paint with the chocolate. And I definitely sent that as a joke, but they responded and they sent it. Bro, I don't know how to paint with chocolate. Is that even a thing? Can you even do that? What? What? So we're gonna box it. This is heavy. I'm like, what? And we're gonna try and paint something with it. I love chocolate. This is so. Thank you guys so much for sending me this. I'm literally like, this is literally like, oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. This just like doesn't even fit. Oh, wow. hope you're hungry, girl. You know I am. If you don't know what Feastables is, it's Mr. Beast's, you know, the famous guy. This guy runs this chocolate company. Oh, no way. 10, okay. Stop. Okay, we're gonna taste them and then I'm gonna figure out a way to paint with these. Oh my god. First things first, I gotta try these. We're gonna open them up. Oh, oh, oh my god, there's so many, I might die. These look so good, I'm so excited. Okay, it says share. Nervous. Mmm. This is my kind of chocolate. This is like, how do you do this? Now I have to figure out a way to to paint with them. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but we're gonna try. I have. Um, I feel like it's only fitting if we paint Mr. Beast <laughs> with it. I know I usually do self portraits, but come on. So I got this little sketch here. Let's test it out. Well, you know me, every time I get a sticker, I have to add it to the sketchbook. I feel like we have to put Mr. Beast's face on here. Like, I feel like that's just only fitting. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> All right, here's gonna be our little testing page. Honestly, not sure how to go about this. We either use water to kind of use it as watercolor or we melt down the chocolate and then use it as watercolor. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna see if it works with water. It's gonna be gross though. I'm gonna take this brush and dip it in some water. <laughs> it's like kind of giving the color, but I feel like it needs to be melted. Or, or we draw with it. <gasps> and then, oh my God. And then, oh, this, this right here, this could be the moon. For sure. This is kind of absolutely revolting though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is pretty bad for sure. I feel like we should also test kind of with the hair dryer. Whoa, 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 buddy! Oh my god, this works so good. And then we add a little bit of water. Boom. I'm kind of done with testing. You know what? Let's just jump in the deep end and freaking go for it right now. Okay, I'm gonna kind of erase the pencil just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm gonna melt the chocolate. I'm gonna use it for the darkest parts. And I think I have to work pretty fast here because oh god, that is just not dark at all. And it's times like these that I question, you know, what am, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Uh, I don't know, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of like satisfying. I have no idea how I'm gonna make this realistic. Okay, I just figured out a super epic technique. This is so dumb. Basically, if the chocolate's dried a little bit, you can kind of just like, oh, look at that beautiful technique. Do you guys see that? You can just kind of rub it on there and it'll go on super softly. Like, this is revolutionary for chocolate artists. I'd like to point out, I found a second technique. Use the end of your paintbrush to kind of scratch away and make some um, very beautiful details, <laughs> as you can see. I mean, come on. Let's be real. Right now, if you squinted your eyes, it looks good. Squint your eyes right now. Are you squinting them? It looks good, right? Honestly, it's not that bad, but we're gonna keep going.
Okay, guys, I think, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I was gonna fill in this shirt, but then I kinda was like, why am I gonna waste more chocolate when I can eat it? Uh, and that was my whole thought process behind that. <laughs> okay, honestly, it's not even that bad. My hands are like sticky, and my entire desk is covered in tiny crumbs of chocolate. From far away, tell me that does not look good. For chocolate, I think I think this gets an A plus in my books for chocolate. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, I feel like, my honest thought though is that it was really fun. I also started using an X-Acto knife and it was really fun to scrape away the chocolate. It was so satisfying. Thank you so much Feastables for sending me some chocolate because that literally made my entire week, to be clear. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching me <laughs> bake this and Thank you guys so much for 60,000 subscribers. What? <laughs> that is unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.